Hey everybody, hope you can hear me. This is Craig from Old Bay Craps. And <clears throat> you'll notice at the top, we have the roll tracker. It currently is not working. So until I can get it fixed, it'll just be there. It won't be tracking any rolls. I'll still be calling them out myself, unfortunately. But I do want to get your opinion on whether you like the placement of it. Does that make sense? Um, I kind of like it at the top and right underneath of the uh, Craps Nation KPI is the uh, the roll history um, right above the box numbers. Um, unfortunately, there's something wrong with the script in the in the uh, in the version I have, and I think it's 100% user error. That's on me. Um, I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm going to get it fixed. But um, it is kind of where I wanted it to be placed in the format. Um, I also added, you'll notice, a dice cam for on the letter C of come. C is for Craig. Why not? Uh, C is for craps. So that's where I'll be uh, bringing the dice to to show you the what was rolled. Um, so... As you can see here, we've got $500 in reds and greens. Um, I'll bring this over a little bit. Um, I'm just going to be doing box numbers. I'm not going to be playing the pass line. Um, if that offends anybody, I apologize. But uh, I don't feel like playing the pass line tonight. Um, we're just going to be doing box numbers, and I'm going to be throwing from... Uh, about stick left to uh, right here on the don't pass bar right down the field lane and I'm looking to landing land the dice right around this area right here um, and we'll just see how it goes so let's get started um, we're not going to wait for a point we're actually going to Actually, go ahead and work to come out. So we're going to go 160 across. And I hope you can hear me. I changed the setting on the microphone after some uh, um, subscriber feedback I got. So let me know if you can hear me okay from over here. Dice out. And we're starting with a one, three, four. And we were working, so four will be the point. And we're gonna get 50. Gonna need some change here. Fifty for one. Bring the four over here. And we're going to take this and we're going to press the 4 and 10 to 50 each. All right, I'm throwing a 4-2, four, 4-2 two, four, two hard way set. Dice out. And we have a 6-2 easy 8. That's going to win 35. We're going to take it to 60 and press the 5 and nickel. Dice out. And we have a 415. Gonna win 42. Gonna press the 5 to 50. Take the 9 to 45. Rack 2. Now 
Now I take the 4 2 4 2 set, pitch it down one so that it's 5 4 5 4. Dice out. Definitely overshot my landing spot, but it's a 6 4 easy 10. That's going to win 100 for 2. Take it up to 100, take the 4 up to 100. I don't know if you can see this on screen, I'm just going to... like a little mini ATS. I think it's off screen, but it'll at least keep me knowing what, what, what I'm rolling. So we rolled a 10. We rolled an 8. We rolled a 4. And we rolled a 5. Alright, 5, 4, 5, 4 again. Dice out. And we are going to have midnight, all the dots and all the spots. We'll go ahead and put a quarter in the field. And we're going to take the 4-2-4-2. Four, two, four, two. We're going to pitch it down twice to 5-3-5-3. Five, three, five, three. Dice out. And we have aces. That's going to win double in the bubble. We're going to take that. Press the 9 to 50. Take the 8 to 90, the 6 to 60, and we'll rack 10. All right, team set, 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, three. Dice out. And they went off to the left, but we got ourselves a 5, 4, 9. So we have 50 on it. It's going to do 75 for 5. And we're going to take the 9 up to 100. And we'll take the 5 up to 75. All right, now we're going to do the 4-2-4-2, four, two, four, two, but we're going to pitch it up so that we have a 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three. Dice out. And we have a 6-2 easy 8. We have 90 on it. It's going to win 105. I'm going to take the 8 to 120. I'm going to take the 5 to 100. And we're going to take the 6 to 120. Same set. Dice out. And we have a hard four. That's great. 
We hit the point. Gonna win 200 for five. And we're gonna rack the black. Go back to 160 base. Come out. We are not going to uh, work on the come out. We'll be off on the come out. And we're going to go back to the 4 2 4 2. Dice out. And good thing we weren't working on the come out because there's a come out 7. Whoops. Overshot the uh, dice cam. Sorry about that. All right, no harm, no foul. That's when you want your sevens to come, is they on the come out. Same set. It does reset the ATS. Unfortunately, we weren't working it though. Dice out. And we have a 6-5 yo. That was one of the numbers we needed previously. That's a frontline winner. All right, I'm going to turn the bets on. Same set. Dice out. Overshot the landing zone, but nonetheless, there's a 6 1 mixer. We were working on the come out, 6 is going to be the point. It's going to win 35. And take the 6 up to 60. Take the 5 to 30. And again, we're going to take the 4242, four, pitch it down to the 5454. Four. Dice out. And we have a 6 2 easy 8. We have 30 on the 8. Going to win 35. Again, we're going to take the 8 to 60, press the 9 to 30. Same set, 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. Dice out. Right back on that 8-5-3. We have 60 on it. It's going to win 75 for 5. Gonna take the eight to one twenty, and I'm gonna press the four quarter. All right, four two four two pitch down twice gives us the five three five three. Dice out. We have a three six nine. We have 30 on the 9. It's going to win 42. Take the 9 to 50. Take the 5 to 50. Rack the 2. Same set. Five three five three. 
Put dice out. We have a hard six. Hit the point. Puck's going to come off. We have 60 on it. We're going to do 75 for five. And because we hit the point, we're going to regress back to base. But everything's paid for already. It was already paid for when we went back out. But So we're going to hyper-press as best as I can remember. All right, pucks off. So we're going to pitch down again and give, me, give us the 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three. We're off on the come out. Dice out. We went way off to the right. But it's going to be a hard 4. We weren't working that time, but 4 is going to be the point. Alright, two, three, two, three, one more time. Dice out. And there's a one, two, three shocker. No help. Gonna go back to the four, two, four, two. Dice out. And we have a 5-3 easy 8. We have 30 on it. Going to win 35. But we're going to hyper press it. So we're going to 120. Rack the 50. Same set, dice out, and we have a hard 10, hard 10, we have 25 on it, it's going to win 50 for 1, we're going to hyper press it to 100, rack 75, Same set. Dice out. We have a four, five, nine. We have twenty five on it. It's going to win thirty five. We're going to hyper press it to a hundred. Take back sixty. We're going to take the 4242, four, two, pitch it down one to the 5454. Four, four. Dice out. And we have the 4 6 easy 10. We have 100 on it. It's going to win 200. For five, and I believe hyper pressing, as we all know, is from good friend Nemo. And I think when a hyper press hits, he then reduces the bet by 50%. So we're going to go to 50 and rack 300. Which means if it hits again, we need to hyper press to 200. All right, five, four, five, four. Again, 
face out. And we have a one, two, three shocker. It's going to be no help. We'll do a quarter in the field. We're going to pitch it down twice to a 5 3 5 3. Dice out. And we have a 6 4 easy 10. Wow. All right, we're going to win a quarter in the field. We're going to win 100 for two. And we're going to take these greens and we're hyper pressing the 10 to 200. Now we're going to 4242 four, pitch it up one to the 2323. Two, three. Dice out. And we have the 6 4 10 again. Unbelievable. We have 200 on it. It's going to win 400 for 10. So we're going to reduce it by half, take it to 100, and we're going to rack 500. That means if it hits, we then have to hyper-press it to 400. Same set. Dice out. 549. We have 100 on the 9. Going to win 140. We're going to reduce it by half to 50, and we're going to take back 240 to the rack. So just like the 10, if it hits again, we'll have to hyper press it to 200. And we're going to go back to the 4242. Four, two. Dice out. And we have a 527. All right. That was the first shooter, guys. That was the first shooter. And we had. 350 out there. But we collected along the way and we're well over a thousand dollars in profit. So let's take an assessment. Our initial bankroll was $500. We have $1,500, So what we're going to do is we're going to bank and put it right in the back row, $1,500. That means we've more than doubled our initial bankroll and our new bankroll is going to be 513. So 
So we'll go one more shooter, but what, what should the goal be? The goal should be three, four, five times um, your new bankroll. So our new bankroll is 513. Let's say we just want to go two times, meaning we want to win 1,026 or have 1,026 at some point on the table. Um, now, wherever we start will be the table profit. So if we start this one, let's get greens for this black chip. And I apologize, the goal should be what you have on table profit. So right now, we have 320 out there as table profit, and we have about 200, about 200 in bet profit, which means we can use this right here, this bet profit, to enhance our table profit along with the wins. And that's what we're going to do. But again, no matter what happens, we're going home with double the profit of our initial bankroll. And that's awesome because not a lot of people can say they left the casino with their initial bankroll at all. So again, we'll do 4242. We're 320 across. We're going to go ahead and work on the come out. Why not? We've already, we're already walking away the casino winners. Dice out. So we have a three, two, five. Five is going to be the point. We were working. And we had 50 on the five. So we're going to win 75 for five. And we're going to take the 5 to 100. Take the 9 to 75. Press the 4 and 10 to 75. So when I said the 3, 4, 5 times um, table profit goal, what I meant was of the 320 that was out there, not the entire new bankroll. So I, I misspoke. So if we want, let's go for four times. So four times. So if our initial new table profit was 320, we want to get 1280. That's four times our table profit. So four times is our goal. All right, 4242 four, again. Dice out. And we have 549. We have 75 on the 9. That's going to win 105. So go ahead and take the 9 to 100. We're going to take the 4 and 10 to 100 each. And we'll press the 8 up to 90. And we'll press the 6 up to 90. All right, 4242. Two. I'm going to pitch it down to 5454. Four. Dice out. And we have a 3-5 easy 8. We have 90 on the 8. That's going to win 105. We're going to take the 8 up to 120. And we're going to take the 6 up to 100. 
to 120. Back to the 5454. Nice out. And we have a one, three, easy, four. It's going to win 200. I ran out of the blocks over here. For five. What we're going to do is do a little bit of an assessment. That's 600. So we just regressed to um, but we don't want to regress. We're trying to get up our table profit up to four times. So we're not at our goal yet. So I misspoke. Sorry. Alright, this was all here. Change that for a quarter. All right, right now we have 300, 600, 900. So we are 300 shy, a little less. Um, we're a little less, or another 300 would be, I think we're a 380, 480. We're 480 shy of our table profit goal of four times. So right now we're going to go to 3535. Dice out. And we're not going to make it. 5 2. Now I know I regressed earlier, but I regressed incorrectly. I shouldn't have regressed. Because the goal is to get the table profit up to a certain point and then regress. Now, you can make your profit anything you want. I, I wanted to attempt four times profit, uh, table profit, which means I wanted to have at least 1280 out on the table before I regressed. If you do an assessment like I did by accident, um, there is no problem with you bringing back two times table profit, which we did have, and rack that and then just regress again and then come up with a new table profit goal. Um, I didn't do that. I, I wanted to go for the four times, but that's 900 we had out on the table, which is incredible in itself. And remember, do we feel bad about that? It hurts, but we're going to go ahead and color up because our initial bankroll was 500 bucks. We're going home with so our initial bankroll was five hundred. We're going home with five hundred, one thousand, seventy five, eighty eight dollars, one thousand. $88 profit on a $500 bankroll. Tell me that's not awesome. I think it's awesome as hell. Um, 
Thanks for joining me. Click the like, share, and subscribe, please. It looks like my uh, table, my layout cam went down on us. I don't know when it went down, but I'm going to keep this video anyway. Hopefully it didn't go down until we sevened out. Um, so at least in the audio, you heard me say that we made 1188 profit um, or 1,088 profit on a 500-hour bankroll. So thanks for joining me. Um, when you're at your tables, guys, season your play, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.